This is me at IKEA in Trondheim on my quest to be disfellowshipped for a silly reason. And there's so much noise, so I shoot the rest of the video here on my farm. But I have this hobby, a man needs a hobby, and my hobby is to collect as many disfellowshipping reasons as possible, and silly reasons only. And actually, you can be disfellowshipped on IKEA. And no, I did not tightly squeeze a pillow between my leg. I did not buy the bookshelf for Nia. I had lunch. This is a picture of me having lunch, and this is a picture of a disfellowshipping offense. In Scandinavia, we have something called a name day. That means that every, na every day have a few names assigned. Like, if your name would be Patrick, you would get a free lunch on St. Patrick Day. That kind of system. So I have two names, and that means twice a year I can get a free lunch in Ikea, at Ikea. And that is creature worship, according to Jehovah Witnesses. So if your name is Jonas and you eat this lunch at Ikea, you deserve to die in Armageddon. So that is my silly disfellowshipping offense at Ikea. If you have any other disfellowshipping offense you want me to try, please let me know in the comment section. But silly disfellowshipping offense only, because I will not do cocaine or rob a bank or something like that, because just because you no longer believe in the Jehovah Witness religion, you're not a bad person, and most of all, you're not a stupid person. I would actually say that I'm a better person, <laughs> because now I know that I shouldn't do stupid things because I love myself and my friends, not because I love the space troll. So, look careful at this picture. Do you think this guy eating lunch deserved to die in Armageddon because of creature worship? Well, if you do, you're probably one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you are one of Jehovah's Witnesses and work at Bethel in Norway, you're right now angry that you don't get one and a half million dollars from the government annually. So how come Jehovah's Witnesses can accept one and a half million dollar government funding annually? Money that come from Satan's system, while uh, rank-and-file Jehovah's Witnesses cannot accept a lunch without being disfellowshipped. That is what some people would refer to as hypocrisy. I would refer to it as a thing of the past because Jehovah's Witnesses do no longer get government funding in Norway, thanks to some hard-working apostates. I'm one of them. So, if you have any suggestions for my hobby and collection of silly reasons to be disfellowshipped and die in Armageddon, please let me know in the description. Silly things only. And maybe I can do it, and maybe I can document it.